Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Pawfology. This is Vlogmas day number 13. And today, Emily and I are going to Calvin Fletcher's and Amelia's for breakfast. And I don't know what we're doing after that. So that's where we're going right now. All right, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so it's a very sunny day and it's a very sunny Saturday in downtown Indy. Um, it was supposed to rain all day but it did, it had, I guess it rained maybe this morning or something, but it's not raining right now and it's a very pretty day. So that's, that's always good. We woke up pretty late, at least I did. And do any of you ever wake, sleep in super late and then you sleep in too much and you get a headache? That's what I'm experiencing right now. I think it's just laying in bed for way too long. So that's what, that's what I'm thinking about. Also, uh, I hear I I'm I heard my uh, cars my car I heard my car make a squeaky noise on its brakes and it reminded me of how I kind of grew up at a dealership. No, I did. I grew up at a dealership. Um, I was there uh, three or four days a week. A lot of interesting stories. A lot of interesting stuff happened. A lot of interesting people and a lot of interesting mechanics. So. I, I, uh, yeah, so one of the mechanics I learned how to invest from, he was, when I was probably 13 or 14, told me about TD Ameritrade, and he, he, uh, told me, I was like, hey, what should I invest in? I was really young, and I was really interested in stocks, and I was asking him, what should I invest in? And he told me, uh, to download Sink or Swim from TD Ameritrade and start playing with fake money basically. I think that's what I think that's what Sink or Swim is. So, yeah. And so I started playing with fake money and learn I kind of got comfortable trading and learning what stocks to buy and at a young age. Not that I not that I could predict anything. I just learned how to use you know the stock market so that was that was always interesting but he he was a mechanic that was i think he specialized in trucks and he would when he wasn't working he had a hot spot which was not a thing to have like most people did not have that in 08 07 uh, especially at their work for their own personal laptop and especially being a mechanic they didn't they weren't normally on their computers, but this dude, he probably shouldn't have been, but he was on his computer like almost all day and he was trading. And when he wasn't working or working on a truck, he would be trading. And I asked him, he, he would trade, you know, he was just a day trader, but one of his favorite stocks, it's not really a stock, it's an ETF, was SPY. He was, all, he was obsessed with it in 08. I remember he would always be watching it always be thinking about it and then he would have different ones here and there so yeah different ones he would trade but the main one i remember is the spy and silver wheaton slw dude he was always talking about that stuff so yeah and i also remember um oh man it smells like weed up in here i also remember there's people smoking uh, there was this drug dealer that was like a really rich drug dealer that had a, he had two cars and he would get it serviced all the time. One was a green Camaro. He does, he does not have this anymore. This was a long time ago. Green Camaro. And you couldn't ever ask him any questions. They were like, everyone knew not to ask any questions, stuff like that. But... It was called the Green Goblin. I feel like that's a really generic name for a green Camaro. But and then he also had his girlfriend had a really decked out Escalade with like a turbo on it. So always interesting. Don't remember his name. If I did, he would probably kill me, so I'm not going to say it. Okay. Well, I'm going we are both going to Calvin's and Amelia's. And I'll see you in just a second. Bye.
So I'm here at Amelia's. I'm really hungry. I really want the chorizo sandwich that they have on the Instagram. So I'm very excited for it. It's a chorizo egg and cheese sandwich. And I'm gonna, Emily and I are then gonna go to Amelia's and get some coffee for the morning and that's what we're doing. I meant we're going to Calvin Fletcher's. There's a Christmas tree here now. Wow, that's new. And here is the only you can save the economy. I realize that this now means you need to wear a mask to save the economy. Thank you, MM. Also, we will be making a gingerbread house very soon. It's in the works. We're so now we're going into my favorite coffee shop, the best coffee shop you can possibly go into, at least in my opinion, in Indy. Before you do that, uh, there's a line actually. Here is Here are the drinks. Oh. I don't know if you can read that, but the holiday drinks are a, well, Calvin Fletcher Mocha Snowflake coffee drink. It's a cold brew milk shaken with house-made cherry syrup and ice topped with house-made peppermint whipped cream. Wow, that's, that's stocking stuffer latte, uh, chocolate with orange zest latte, winter cascara latte. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's like a chai latte with a shot of espresso. And then a cof, Cafe del Ulai Latte. It's a pilincio cinnamon and orange. I'm probably gonna get the Cascara Latte with an extra shot, so. Do you know what you wanna get, Emily? Uh, not yet, but they do have 25% off bags. Oh, nice. If I was gonna get any coffee, I would probably be getting the uh, Ethiopian Dom Davia Natural. I like natural coffees. I think they're good. They're a lot sweeter, so yeah. Oh, dang. There is a legit line in here. Wow. Well, We're just here. Whoop. Any, oh. They always have some cool art. <clears throat> a beautiful day. So we're driving back from Amelia's and Calvin Fletcher's. Always a great experience. Uh, I'm pretty sure Calvin's gave uh, a home, some homeless people some free food and coffee. Just uh, another reason I really like them. They're just they're just sweet people. <clears throat> and I went into Amelia's. I don't know, I don't think I recorded anything. Um, it's really nice in there. They they have a chorizo egg sandwich with. Pickled onions, maybe sounds weird, but it sounds good to me. Pickled onions and pickled jalapenos. Oh, it was an egg souffle with chorizo, pickled onions, and pickled jalapenos. So I got that sandwich. Emily got a croissant. And maybe uh, next time we'll go to, what's it called? Gallery Pastry Bar. Gallery Pastry Bar. So... We'll go there next time. And uh, yeah, I got some bread, got a whole loaf, sourdough for the week. And 
that's about all. I saw in there they had a bunch of like homemade uh, holiday sugar spices. So they had like homemade holiday sugar water mix that you put in drinks or whatever. I don't know, whatever else you use it for. Baking, I guess, maybe. Probably not. It's probably only for mixed drinks. Or it could probably be used for coffee or something like that. So, yeah. Hmm, what was I talking about before? I was talking about growing up at a dealership. That was really cool. I enjoyed it. It was a, you know, just so many different personalities. You got your salespeople. You got your mechanics who are, you know, a little rougher. Your salespeople who are not rough and honestly have no idea. Uh, well, they... Okay, my opinion is salespeople know some about cars, but... Well, no, the older older salespeople know a lot about cars. A lot of the younger people, they're just trying to sell cars, and who knows if they'll, they will even last. So, but I was mainly in the back, the back of the dealership, where the work happens besides any other work besides selling cars happens. So, very cool, very interesting. I would go there after school, really liked it. Did you guys go anywhere, go to any work after school? What was your first job? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna tell you mine right now. My first job technically was at the dealership and I was cleaning, what was it? Cabinets for and little shelves for all the parts and stuff and sweeping, sweeping the parts area. So that's what I did. My first job not connected to the dealership was Family Dollar. That was crazy. I worked there probably for six months. I liked it. I, w I mean, it was a good first job, you know? A lot of crazy people came in, but there was also a lot of regulars that would come in. It was really fun. So, and I was young and it was just, you know, it was fun to see some people and they would mess with me and yeah, it was good all around. So, okay, I'll be back later. I don't know what I'm doing today, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back. So I'm here at the apartment. I'm just chilling. It's the afternoon. I'm about to get ready to go hang out with some friends. Emily and I are going to go hang out with some friends. Um, we're going to go see the Christmas lights in downtown Indy, the New Fields one at the Art Museum, which I, that's what the Art Museum is called, New Fields. And what else? That's about all. I did some dishes, I'm running the dishwasher right now. And yeah, so that's it. I was talking with a friend today and uh, we were talking about goals for 2021. And he told me that I should try to uh, vlog every day in 2021. And that's a huge commitment. Like Peter can do that. Some other people can do that. I just don't know if I can do that. That's really challenging. So, but I might, I'm contemplating, contemplating it. I, I'm thinking about vlogging every day in 2021, but I'm not committing to it yet. I'll commit to it in two or three weeks. I'll make up the decision. So I got three weeks to decide. I'm also, I'm just, I'm just like, I don't know what I could do. I don't know. I don't know what that will look like, but that's okay. I just should probably just try it. Um, I made it through the Peterman vlog challenge and I'm doing vlogmas. I wanted to commit possibly to doing vlogging for 90 days after completing vlogmas, but maybe I'll commit to vlogging for 365 days. So as long as everyone's okay with, you know, maybe some vlogs not being the greatest, but Hey, that's fine. I'm learning. I'm new to this. I'm just seeing what happens. So, but that's one thing I'm thinking about doing. I, I yeah, so that's one thing. What else? Emily and I, uh, we made a vlog yesterday. We talked for quite a while. Did you like that? Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. I think we're going to maybe try to do that once a week or maybe twice a week. So it's always fun when I have Emily on the videos to have someone to talk with, talk about whatever. So that was good. Let's see. So uh, I got Emily some AirPods for her birthday, um, 
and I was using them and I really liked them. So I was using them while I was doing dishes and I was like, man, they're so, they're so nice. They work so well with the iPhone. So compared to, so I have these Aki ones. I got them for $40 on Amazon and they are, ah, they're noise canceling ones. Hold on. So these are Aki noise canceling headphones and they hurt my ears. I don't know what's up and it's not, okay. It's not the cushion that hurts my ears. It's the active noise counseling, noise counseling, active noise canceling that hurts my ears. I don't know what it is. I have some cheaper headphones, earbuds, whatever that have uh, ANC on it, but those don't hear, hurt my ears as bad as these. I don't know what's up. I wonder if they're like sending weird vibrations that hurt my ears. I don't know. So I can't wear them very long. It's weird. I would not recommend them. But I wonder if the uh, the AirPod Pros would be any better, that maybe the ANC on those is not as bad. I, I guess it, it's probably just because this is a cheaper product. So I, have you guys ever tried the Sony headphones that are – they have them at Best Buy. They have them – wherever, but those are noise canceling or the Bose headphones or even the, oh, there's so Jaybirds, so many. There's so many noise canceling earbuds and headphones. They're super nice if you get a good quality one. So I saw that Apple is releasing AirPod Maxes. I think that's what they're called. Anyways, they're headphones and those look cool. I probably would never buy them, but hey, cool to the people that do those are noise canceling and you know part of my thing with apple stuff it's not always the best product but when you have an iphone their products work so well with their phones or their computers it i don't it's just instant like compared to these headphones or any other headphones i use the air pods and any other accessories that come from Apple, they just work so smooth with Apple. That's, that's kind of like the, uh, the benefit of buying Apple products for Apple products. So that's always been, that's my opinion on that. I really, I do like Apple products, even though they are inferior to Google, to Galaxy, as far as uh, speed of the phone, as far as just, you know, you can, you could get a cheaper phone that's probably does more, uh, if you don't have an Apple, but at the same time, I'm like, man, I can't get rid of iMessage. That's literally like why I use Apple. I love iMessage. All my friends have Apple phones, iPhones, Apple phones, iPhones, and I love their pictures. I, you know, Google and some other Samsung might have a better pixel camera but apple does stuff like ai editing to their photos that you know the camera might be a 12 megapixel but it looks really good in my opinion it looks good it, it can edit it the, the editing in the photo just is looks great but my friend chris and kirsten have google phones and they record really well uh it look they can record in 4k which the iphone can too but those phones they, they look well, good as well. But I don't know. It's just something about Apple's camera that has a distinct look to it that I really like. So, but yeah, so that's my thing on Apple products. I would like to get AirPod Pros at some point. I probably won't be getting them anytime soon, but maybe someday I will. They have really, I know that AirPod Pros, AirPods, and there's another company that have really good call. Uh, features like you can call it like it sounds good versus like these the like knockoffs uh the call feature does not sound good it sounds like a tin box so i'm excited for that to improve in the future though you know when earbuds will have amazing call features like i mean amazing calling whatever like it sounds normal because right now it doesn't sound even with airpods it sounds good and people like to say it sounds almost perfect but it's not. I think that technology will continue to improve. So, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm doing today. I'm thinking about AirPods, doing my dishes, 
doing whatever. Got to get ready for tonight. I'm going to record at the Christmas lights if I can. What if they're, what if they're like, you can't do that because it's an art museum? It hasn't stopped me before. So, like, my, no one stopped me so far. My camera's pretty small. I can always use my iPhone. So I'm just going to, you know, record like that if I need to, even though it doesn't record that great in low light. Neither does this camera, but it's fine. It's a general idea of recording and kind of being there. So I'm going to try to do that. And what else? That's about all. Emily and I will probably make a video tomorrow. I'm going to probably go... Oh, my hair is a little crazy. I'm probably going to go to somewhere and get a gingerbread house. And Emily and I might make a gingerbread house tomorrow or on Tuesday. Or maybe Monday, since Emily is going to be working from home uh, through 2021. So, until 2021. So, we might do it... We're going to do it next week. We might do some other stuff Christmassy. I kind of want to make a perfect stocking. I kind of want to go to Target and Emily pick out her perfect stocking and I pick out my perfect stocking. I think that would be fun. What else? Yeah, so that's all. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you're still watching, comment down below iPhone. Yeah, let me know you're watching down there. Even if you don't have an iPhone, just comment down below. Also, thank you so much to everyone who's been watching these videos. Thank you so much to everyone who's been commenting. I read all your comments. I love I love reading them. I love responding. Uh, it's just so nice. Some of you, all of you, all of you are so nice to me. So thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And Emily loves reading them as well, and she appreciates them. So just thank you so much. I will talk to you tomorrow. I'll have some Christmas light footage. I'll have some what we some of what we do tonight on there. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great night. Remember that you are loved. You are important. This world is a better place because you are here. Uh, also, um, just remember, don't compare yourself to other people. You're perfect just the way you are. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.